Okay, guys, this is what I have going on this weekend. Putting up a blind for a skylight. They want it like $150 to $250 for a, a regular blind for a skylight. And I figured I'd come up with a much cheaper option. So what I did is I ran to Menards, but you can find these at Home Depot and Lowe's. This is just a standard room darkening shade. If you don't want room darkening, you can get you know, anything, just regular shade, a veneer, or, um, you know, a, a room lightening. But um, these are cellular shades, and what's nice about these is um, there's no pull string. You used to have to pull things up and down. Now you just push it up and pu pull it down. Um, so what I'm planning to do, the big difference between a standard, um, you know, one that's designed, a shade that's designed for a skylight and a conventional shade and this is just an off-the-shelf $30 um, regular shade for a normal double-hung window, is there's no track. So you have to pre-order with an angle, and this has got a pretty good angle to it. So what I did is I bought the $30 one, hung it per instructions, just like you'd normally do for a window. Um, there's some, try to get you a better shot. There's a couple brackets. Um, but essentially you just pop it in just like a normal and, and it, your, your instructions will vary. So for the track, what I did is I picked up this ceiling tile. This is made for a drop ceiling. I think it was three or $4 for I don't know, 12 feet. I cut it. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to nail some track down along on both sides. And this, and this cellular shade came with a handle already. So I think it'll work out pretty good. My son's been complaining that the sun's blaring in on his eyes and I think this is going to be a nice $30, $35 option opposed to a $200 custom order job. So let's see how this works and uh, hope, hopefully it goes as planned. So stay with me. So this is what I'm using to cut it, just some tin snips. And my window is just a, a about an eighth inch short of 44 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this out and cut it. Now I'm saving the factory edges. This is one of them. And I'm going to cut this side. So I'm going to go ahead and measure it up. Mark it a little bit here. I'm already starting to lose light. Here's my mark. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it with these tin snips. So here's my mark right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut it with the tin snips as straight as possible. It doesn't have to be a surgical cut or anything. And I'm just going to cut on this side. It cuts very easy with standard tin snips. And let's go see how this fits. So what I'm going to do, I just want this basically even. So I'm just going to take a measurement up here. Same measurement down here. Five. Between five and an eighth and five and a quarter. Between five and an eighth and five and a quarter. I'll go ahead and mark my line. So what I'm gonna do with one hand here, Gavin, can you do this for me? What? Can you get up here and hold this for me? What do you want me to hold? Don't poke your eye out with this. That's dumb. No one wants to watch no. you. Yeah, people do. Hold this. No, hold Ten that. people. Videotape my pen mark. So I'll, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just mark a line here because I have a pretty good measurement going on. And I'm going to go ahead and nail this up. Here, yeah, let me grab that for a second. I just marked the line right on the inside just so you don't see the pencil mark. So I'm going to use a hammer and I found these nails in the garage. I don't know if they're going to work good. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop in a couple along the track. So, uh, okay, Gavin, you got it. Okay, 
can get you can get back a little bit if you need to. into a problem here eh? to make it work the shade's a little a little tight but it's gonna work perfect perfect this still moves yes I'm just gonna measure from the glass up here and very similar it's about five and an eighth eh, yeah about five and an eighth Mark my line, because I am going to lose it in a second as I let go. Now, again, can you give me a hammer and nail? Um. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. Here's what I have. I got the ceiling railing on both sides, drop ceiling ra railing. And let's see if this will actually, oh, look at that. Uh-oh. Gonna have to do something about that, won't we? Keeps on coming down. We'll have to put a little clip to hold it down there. But overall, looks like a good install. So let me let me solve that issue real quick. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try to use some Velcro. This is just a little, uh, I think it's a one inch by one inch square of Velcro. It's not gonna take much to hold this thing down. It just needs a little tension so I'm gonna try the easiest route I'm just gonna hold it down for just a couple moments sets we'll see how this works and pull it down it slides very easy all the way back up I totally am satisfied with the results and I think I saved over a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars by doing this, and I didn't have to wait to have something custom ordered. This was pretty much uh, walk in, pick it off the shelf, and uh, and then go ahead and home install it. So, hope this helps. If in case you guys are out there um, trying to solve the same problem I was, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.